Welcome to Get Good, Kid. I realize the name's a bit toxic, but aren't we all a bit toxic? This series is built based off of suggestions I've gotten from my community. If you want to make suggestions, hit up my Discord. It's listed here and in my description. Now, I'm going to outline the top 5 mechanics you need to work on at every rank. Then I'm going to show you how to do them with an in-depth guide. Plus, I'm even throwing in a training pack I made just for this episode. But before we begin, I want to be clear up front, I am not teaching you rotations in this video. Rotations are a whole other aspect of the game that I plan to teach later. My goal is to give you instructions on what to work on right now so you can rank up. This first episode is targeted at newer players with under 300-ish hours in the game. But if you are one of our very own veterans with more hours than that, this can still be helpful. Believe it or not, I didn't know I was supposed to be wave dashing until I reached champ 2. Yikes. So, if you're a higher ranked player, make sure you know all of these mechanics as well. The fundamentals are the most important in Rocket League. Alright, let's get to our guide. So, my number 5 on the list is kickoffs. Kickoffs don't need to be complicated. There's a lot of talk out there of speed flips, strats, and whatever. But the truth is, I'm going to teach you one kickoff that works fine all the way up to GC. So here it is. I put my controller on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing, but surprise, it's not that complicated. Basically, all you have to do is flip forward while feathering boost and then flip into the ball. That's it. I'll break it down in slow-mo so you can see. So basically, I start my kickoff from this position and I use a little bit of boost to move forward. Then all I do is flip while holding that boost to keep a little bit of momentum. Then I just drive forward while conserving boost so I have a little bit left over and turn and flip into the ball. And that's pretty much it. This kickoff won't necessarily win you the kickoff every single time, but the goal for every kickoff should be to not have it go out of control. And that's exactly what this kickoff does. It's simple, but it's reliable. So I'd advise try it out, especially if you're new and it's gonna serve you really well. All right, number four on the list, air roll. Yeah, you knew this was coming. Car control and air roll are everything in Rocket League at every level. Early on, get used to constantly using air roll to recover. I have air roll bound to my left bumper. Once again, watch my controller to see what's going on. I'll even slow it down for you. Basically, I jump off the wall and then use my air roll to recover. All you have to do is turn your car midair and land on your wheels. I want to point out, you should also air roll when going up the walls, otherwise you get this little number. Not only is air roll good for recoveries, it can help you get better angles on the ball. Check out what happens here. I air rolled to the right mid jump and I face the ball head on. Now, if I didn't do that, look what happens. So air roll is super important for basically everything in Rocket League. You need to practice. Alright, the next one up is hitting hard and contact. Now, I've already done an in-depth video on contact, so I won't get as specific. Watch the video linked above. The main thing is to practice using your flip and hitting with your corner. Believe it or not, air roll will help with this too. See, it's all coming together. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. It's time for my second most important mechanic, the half flip. And let me be clear to begin, this is the hardest mechanic out of all of them. And I'll prove it, check out the silver I just recently coached. It is hard, it is hard. But it's also one of the most important mechanics, so I gave it the number two spot. If you can't half flip, take the time over the next few days to get this down. You need it to recover and move around the field quicker. It's just that important. So here's how to do it with my controller for reference. I'll show you, then break it down step by step. There's two ways to do it. It's a matter of preference, but I'd recommend starting with way number one. Here it is. Begin to do a backflip, and as soon as you start the backflip, flip your stick in the opposite direction, in this case upward, and then use air roll to turn your car over mid-air. Feel free to look back at the video and pause to get all that down. Alright, now that we've got one, I'll explain the second way. This way is easier. Now you're probably thinking, hey, striped, you little twerp, why make me learn the hard way if this is actually easier? Good question, bigger twerp. This way is less controlled and often doesn't land as nicely as the first one. 
The first builds better habits for air rolling and is more consistent. I'm teaching you both because I don't want you to be surprised when the other way happens, because it just will sometimes by accident. So here it is. You start the backflip and you go for the cancel, but instead of going straight up with your stick, you go to a corner and your car automatically flips over without you air rolling at all. Try this out and see how you feel about it. Before I get to my number one mechanic, take a second and hit that sub for me. I'm giving away free coaching at 500 subs, all you have to do is tap that red button. To make sure you do, I'm going to try something new. We're going to rip off Musty, so here's me staring at you for 10 seconds. Use this time wisely. Subscribe. I'll know. Okay, moving on. The ultimate number one mechanic you need to learn is free play. Yeah, yeah, I know, this isn't technically a mechanic, but it counts, because it's really all the mechanics. Do not underestimate the power of free play. I truly recommend that half of your time in Rocket League should be free play. Put on music or a podcast and just grind. Now you're probably wondering, what do I do in free play? Easy. Hit the ball as hard as possible. Don't just aim for the net, focus on contact. As soon as you made contact, follow it up by trying to move quickly towards the ball. Sounds simple, but this helps with speed, contact, recoveries, aerials, air rolls, you name it. And all you have to do is bang the ball around. Plus, try going for things you, you don't even think you can hit. Push yourself. I mean, nobody's watching. I hope. This is the surefire way to improve overall, even if it doesn't feel like it at first. Look at any pro streamer and you'll find them in free play before every match. It's not just for fun, it helps. Now that we've got all of that down, I'll walk you through my training pack so you know exactly what to do. Code is in the description. The first two shots are all about kickoffs. Use the one I showed you in the beginning of the video and practice it. It's that simple. It's going to help you a ton in matches and make your kickoff more solid. For number three, go up the wall, hit it with your nose, and recover safely afterwards. Make sure your wheels are almost perfectly level with the ground, and then maybe try to go for a shot after that. If you're a little bit more advanced, hit it off the ceiling for a big clear. The next shot is all about air roll to hit it in the net. You have to turn your nose in order to make the shot. And moving on, we're going to keep using that air roll to hit the shot that's awkward off the wall. Try to get as much power as possible and maybe follow it up. For this one, we're working on power. Hit underneath the ball to get as much air as possible. What you don't want to do is hit on top of the ball, like I do here, and let it bounce. That's too easy to save. This one is also about hitting underneath the ball to generate power. Don't worry about hitting in the net, but getting as much height as possible. To practice more power, this one, once again, hit underneath the ball and right off the bounce. Get it as high as possible and maybe follow it up. If you're a little bit more advanced, hit it off the bounce. If you can hit on the bottom of the ball, it'll send it super high. Now it's time to work on half flips. Recover to this ball and shoot in the net. It might take a little practice. This last one uses everything we practice. Half flip and then bang it into the net. If you can put all these together, you'll understand how to use all the mechanics that we practiced today. We've covered a lot, so take time to go back in the video for parts you didn't understand. Overall, it's time for you to stop sucking at Rocket League. Practice this. Seriously. Do it. Then, tell me how far you've come after practicing these mechanics for a solid two weeks. If you get results, I want to know. Type in the comments. If you're nutty at this game and watch this video for some other reason, stay tuned. This is only part one. Now, get out there and break some axles.